Hey guys, we're back with the house in Fara Morgana. When we last left off, we uh, finished up Yukimasa's flashback. And now I presume we're going to go talk with Maria. And yeah, let's get on with it. Michelle's classic dot dot dot. Did I lead him into the correct path? We just told Yukimasa, like, yo, don't murder people. Will he actually find redemption at the end of it? No, I made the right decision. Even if he doesn't end this life. It's enough chance, there's enough of a chance that he will in his next. One left and that's it. I'm almost there, Giselle. I've almost made it to Morgana. I've come this far. That's all that, and all that's left is to speak with the Lord. Stay focused, Michelle. The pieces I have still don't fit together yet. As Morgana told it, the Lord was a cruel man from the moment she first saw him. It wasn't much different in the swordsman telling of the events either. Are those portrayals the full picture of what kind of man he is? Will adding his perspective do anything but amplify Morgana's hatred? If he really is exactly the man he's been made out to be, then how do you explain his internal struggles from the third door? Did his core personality change with the times? Everyone else I've met has been fundamentally the same, though. Are you the exception, Jacopo? Morgana found joy in her life during her three years at the brothel. She wept about not being able not being given the opportunity to thank them. So maybe Maria is more likely to be able to assuage Morgana's animosity. I'll have to hear what she has to say. Eh. can barely move my right arm. Can't feel my fingers at all. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> it burns. Manage the song. Danged if it doesn't hurt. <sighs> Oh, faint. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Morgana now. Why must you hand out miracles for nothing? I know that voice. Looking up at someone, a woman. She's draped in a black fog. I can't make out many details, but even through the darkness, I know immediately who she is. She is mother. My, no, oh, she's not my mother. She is. Is this Morgana's mother? Oh, yeah! I remember this scene! Okay. I was like, I remember this scene for Morgana. Yeah, okay, okay. So, we're in Morgana's perspective. Why would you even ask such a question, mother? You're both, we're barely holding it on as is, my dear. What if Michelle is Morgana? Everyone's Morgana! <laughs> Sorry, I to expect a little... Remuneration for our services? Remuneration? No, mother, it is wrong. Miracles are not to be bartered for. God the Father does not charge for his miracles. So why should we, when I'm only borrowing his power? Listen to me, Morgana. Every time you give someone a blessing, you're hurting yourself. If not for the miracle itself, you still deserve some degree of compensation for the pain. I know you're concerned for me, mother, and I appreciate it very much. But I'm happy with the way things are. Happy to be able to help others with my Heavenly Father's power. A power you won't have much longer, my dear. We can't afford to keep yourself fed, ourselves fed. I'm a, I'm a saint, aren't I? Yes, you are my, you're my sweet little saint. God will not forsake his saint. No matter how difficult it may get, he will always provide me a way to continue doing his work. Morgana painted her mother very cruelly, but here, like, she doesn't sound that bad. You're the mother of that saint, aren't you? Yes, that's right. I can see if you untainted by the hands of man. Then you must respect his will as well, mother. It must be our highest priority. You're right. I was wrong, my dear saint. Huh. Mother, mother. You agreed with me. You said I was right. So why are you taking money from that man? Mother. Mother looks over as strange men shove me into the into a carriage. The look in her eyes sends a chill down my spine. I see her lips moving. She doesn't actually say the words out loud, but I can make out every individual syllable. Oh, uh, Because you're worthless to me. Welcome, daughter of God. You'll be performing miracles for me now. If you cooperate, I can guarantee you'll live more than comfortably. Miracles are not something to be performed for one single person's benefit. What? 
Miracles are not magic or parlor tricks. They are a precious gift, granted to me by my father in heaven. Using his power for personal gratification is a grave sin. I will do no such thing. I entreat you to think long and hard before your actions. Do away with such selfish desires and dedicate yourself to helping the people. The power you have has been given was bestowed upon by the hand of God. <laughs> Screw that line up. It's not your power. He's merely allowing you to make use of it for a short time. Pride is a sin. Please consider how you conduct yourself. You're an ignorant, insol insolent child, aren't you? I bought you. You're my property. You have no right to, to an opinion. That's not my opinion. If that's the way of the world, as God... Silence! You're not here to talk. You're here to perform miracles for me and my guests. As I've already told you, I'll do no such thing. Well, what you will or will not do is my decision, not yours. The Lord says with a sickening laugh, and grabs me by the hair and knocks me to the floor. I beg him to stop, but he isn't listening to a word I say. Also, is this a new song? I don't think we've heard it before. Cheers! A saint's blood and good fortune to all. I stare vaguely out of the crowd, gathering for the Lord's blood feast. Every time he has guests, he throws another party, and every time he slices another part of my arms or legs open. It isn't long before they're an unsightly web of crisscrossing scars. The Lord sometimes has trouble deciding where to cut, but not out of any sense of sympathy for me. He simply thinks drawing blood from an untinged area of my body will make it more effective. The Lord strips me bare. Perhaps I'll use your stomach today, Saint. Should be able to get some nice pure blood from there. Stop this. Can you not comprehend that what you're doing is an affront to the Lord? Free to do as I wish with my property. Saint or, no, saint or not, you're no different than any of my other, of, of my slaves. The Lord is greatly displeased with your actions. Then use your miracle powers to deliver divine punishment on me. Go on. You can do that, can't you? Your soul will be punished. You may, may, may not see the effects now, but you will pay for your sins one day. Heh. <laughs> You're not as threatening as you think you are, buck naked girl. <sighs> Don't give me that look, girl. I have no interest in taking that from you. You'd be lucky to find anyone willing to lay with a girl covered in disgusting scars. <sighs> All I can do is wait and endure day after day of torture and shame, the Lord searching for new places to, to stick his knife. My entire body, except for my face, is covered in reddish black wounds. Someone, anyone, help me. Get me out of here. Please, someone. Oh, Father, who art in heaven, I pray for you to lead me unto deliverance. Father, your trials are much too great. That's when the slave thing, rebelling, and happened. I think it was like that, right? Organa. That was much clearer than the first time I saw it. Everything she felt, her struggling, her sincerity, her pain, and her voice, felt almost as though I was the one going through it all. Is this, is this actual foreshadowing that Michelle and Morgana are the same person? Don't do this game. Don't do this. <sighs> the Lord. I can understand why Morgana would bear such a powerful grudge against him, considering everything he did to her. Why would he do that, though? Is there some reason? Some explanation for his actions? Thoroughly exhausted, like I've just spent the last several months having my blood drained again and again. My limbs felt like I they have boulders tied to them. Just trying to get to my feet makes me dizzy. It's so cold. She's probably waiting for me by now. I should get going. I have to do this. Ooh, dang it! Fighting against my body's attempt to succumb to gravity with every step through sheer force of will, make my way to the courtyard. Oh, there you are! Thank God you came. Sticking out of church grounds is a bit unnerving, so if you... Are you alright? You look like you came back from the dead. I'm fine. Thank you for coming. Now to continue our conversation from yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! What do you think you're convincing? Look as about as fine as a freaking corpse. If you're not feeling well, we can always do this some other time. And whoa, what happened to your hand? 
It's a minor injury. Just a flesh wound. Nothing of any significance. Seriously, who do you think you're convincing, man? I can get around just fine without a few fingers. You're gonna take yourself into consideration, too. You can only run on your own determination for so long. Imagine how it makes me feel for a second. You asking to talk and showing up. You asking to talk and showing up looking like that. You wanna get anything done? You gotta take care of yourself first. Head on back to your room and rest. Let's do this some other day, okay? When you're feeling. I don't have ta that time. That kind of time. Noon tomorrow. That's my deadline. I have to take care of everything before then. I know dang well what condition I'm in. If that doesn't change what I need to do. If I don't, I can't save Morgana. I can't get Giselle back. That makes it all the more important you can you get your rest. And when do you suggest I do that exactly? Honestly. I don't get why you're such a dang tizzy. Get a hold of yourself, man. I'm plenty calm. Sure don't look it. You're already pushing yourself to the edge. I don't want to be responsible for giving you that last nudge. So quit bickering with me. Get your butt back and get some rest. You don't understand the gravity of the situation. None of you do. You don't grasp how great of effort stopping whatever happens tomorrow will have. Will have. I have to keep moving. Even if it means crawling through the dirt. If I don't, not only will I fail to make things better, Morgana's almost certainly got even worse fates in store for all of you, so long as her curse lives on. I'm the only one here who knows what awaits. So that makes you what? Profit or something then? Not exactly, no. But in the terms of this time period, that would be the most apt description. Do you not believe me? Well, you know, that is asking a lot. That's fine, you don't have to. But at the very least, I want you to believe that I genuinely believe something terrible is going to happen to Mario if I don't do something. That I think I don't have time to waste. All I need you to do is tell me what you know. Could you do that for me? Assuming you actually are a prophet or whatever, why don't you just, you know, get the heck out of town? Say, frick it, this is too much, and vanish into the night. No one's gonna blame you if you do. Heck, is anyone even gonna notice you did anything if you do succeed? Not in this for attention or praise. I cannot sit idly by, knowing what I know. Seeing what has happened and what will happen. Knowing what Morgana went through, what she felt. Can't abandon her. Not anymore. Can't let my knowledge go to waste. While it is true that the mansion will continue to be wrapped in darkness so long as Morgana's curse remains in effect, and nothing can be put to rest until I do something about it. That's not my sole motivation anymore. I sincerely want to help Morgana. Giselle. Is this what you meant when you told me you wanted me to save her? You seem like the kind of fellow who's always fretting about something or the other. You don't know how to take it easy, do you? Though I guess in a way, that's kind of why you fight so hard, huh? Alright, you win. I'll talk. Anything you want to know, I'll tell you. Thank you very much. But, you sit your butt down first. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Morgana said that? She did. She described her three years there as one of the brightest periods of her life. Huh, who would have thought? Dang, that's kind of really great to hear. Did she never tell you her herself how she felt? She never really made much of an attempt to be part of the group. We heard some of this in the bad ending. But I imagine they wrote it in a way that, even if you did get the bad ending first, that it's good. Like, you know what I mean. It was like she had these colossal walls all around her. I can see that. Yeah, so it always kind of felt like, I never knew if I was sticking my nose in too far or not, you know? She appreciated what you and the other woman did for her. After the raid four years ago, she ended up in the hands of a slave trader. As she was being transported, she said this, with tears in her eyes. I'm sad because I didn't get the chance to show my gratitude to people very dear to me. Well, dang. So is that, you know, absolutely 100% exactly what she said? You're not just pulling it out of your butt, are you? Those were exact words, yes. As hard as it may be, may be to believe. Nah, I believe you. Just surprised is all. I mean, just wow, yeah. Huh? 
If I'd known that was how she felt, maybe I could have been a little friendly with her. You weren't friendly with her? Not especially. I mean, that's not, not to say I was cold or anything. Just that all the girls kept a bit of distance from her. Not because we didn't like her, because that's what it looked like she wanted. Some distance. None of us were really cut out for the caretaker gig. As much as we'd love to have to be some kind of mother figure for her, we just didn't have, have it in us. Who was closest to her? He's dead. This slave. Huh? Is this about a slave? There's a young man, a slave who participated in the revolt of the Lord's Banner, who saved Morgana's life. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the guy. He's the closest of any, us to, of any us to her. Or at least, he gave her the most attention. And he's six feet under. That's unfortunate. What can you do? People come and go. It's just the, that's just the way of things. I thought that maybe, but if you're still alive, that'd improve our chances of saving Morgana. Improve our chances? It's only one way about it. Smash the Lord's frickin' skull in and take his key. It's not an option. Doing that will not alleviate her hatred. Would he be willing to accompany us when we go into the observation tower? Huh? Me? Why? I want you to be there to say something to her. I'll say whatever you want me to say once you've, once you've gotten her out of the tower. Don't you think that being able to hear the voice of someone she cares for when she's finally set free would do more to pull her out of the darkness than anything else? That's all the more reason it can't be me. Why not? Like I've been saying, I was never that tight with her. I kept my distance. I can't do anything, not with the reasons you've given me for why she's so full of hatred. I have no other options, though. You know, actually, while I doubt this will do much in the way of getting rid of her grudge, there is something I was supposed to give her, but never got the chance. It's a teddy bear for her birthday. It's nothing special, just a rinky dink little necklace. But if you get the chance, would you mind giving it to her? If anyone, that should come from you. It's not from me. It was supposed to be from the slave. He got it for her as a birthday present. But that was the day the brothel got raided. You know, what is up with anime and getting, like, teddy bears for birthdays? <laughs> like, it, I remember Higurashi. He saved up for, like, a, what, a $200 teddy bear? It, it was something ridiculous. It was just a really big teddy bear. And that, like, even a big teddy bear is not worth more than, like, $30. I wouldn't even pay 30 I wouldn't, well, I don't want to pay a dollar for a big teddy bear. Yeah, I don't want a teddy bear. It takes up space, but still. Anyway, just one of those things that bug me. So yeah, that's the story. Make sure she gets it, would you? Okay, I will. Thanks, man. Well, I know that's out of the way. I should just split. Best of... There you are. Ellie? You weren't in your room. I was worried sick. What are you two doing here? You're going to talk to the Lord tonight, right? So, there's a chance you might be able to set the saint free. No way am I going to... No way am I, am I going to miss that. No, it's not going to happen until like 11.59. Trust me, I've played games. I've experienced media before. That's why you're here? That... And to say goodbye. I want for the... For them to make reparations as soon as the girl's released. Do you feel the same way, Nelly? If Mel tells me he wants to, then I won't stop him. But he was threatened, so if it's possible, I don't think there's any need for him to be to rush to be punished. I don't want to lose my brother. Surely there are other ways he can atone. That's reasonable. I do feel guilty about what he has put through. It's not your fault what he did. Anyway, I'm really, really anxious about tonight. And I'm sure you'll all turn out fine. You'll make it work, won't you, dearest Michelle? Uh, I'll do my best. Oh, come on. You gotta act more confident. Take care of my mail for me, too. It's very fragile, so handle them with care. Like a big old box of china. Is so he really that fragile? As for me, um, it looks like he's going to do anything he shouldn't. Will he stop him for me? I wish I could be there to do it myself, but, well... He insists only the people directly involved should be there. I want to respect that. I was never going to allow anyone to get hurt anyway. That's good, thank you. 
You and the Lord may have caused the girl a great deal of pain, but I still don't want anyone to get hurt. Some people deserve it. I say let them have it. Now, Maria, don't be like that. You're the weird one, little Miss Perfect. Carry on letting everyone off the hook for everything. The whole dang world's gonna come falling down around you. He... He did what he did for me, though. And the Lord? He's only in it for his own profit. What Tracy says it benefits the city, still comes back around to his own pockets. The Lord's not a bad man, though. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it a thousand times. No one's a bad person in your eyes, I know. N now, now. Can you please try to keep things civil? Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Bad habit, I know. I talk a lot of rot, but I don't really mean half of it. I do think he's much better than the, the old lord, though. Right, it's a different lord. Hold on a second. What did you just say? He's better than the old. When did the current lord take his place? Um, four years ago? Yeah, Morgana's story made it sound like he was the same lord. So that improves the situation. Because that dream was a different lord then, right? What? Morgana was nine years old when she was at the lord's manor. Seven years ago. Maria, were you ever at the lord's manor at any time seven years ago? Nah, I was never hired by anyone there. Then when? She didn't have any interaction with the Lord seven years ago. Uh, now it may all makes sense. How did I not consider this possibility sooner? I know what kind of man he is. And I know the people he had around him. Maria, is the slave actually dead? What? The slave took the Lord's place? Is that what it's trying to say here? But I have a dang good reason for this. Oh, shit. This CG but with, with Yakupo now. I came because you said you had something important to discuss. Now, care to tell me who the heck this white-haired man is and what he's doing here? You neglected to mention we'd be having company. I'm the one who asked him to arrange this meeting with you. Who the heck would you be? He's an angel. Or a prophet. What? Did you both finally snap under the pressure? <laughs> I'll leave it for you to decide what you think I am. I will say, though, that I know everything. I know we've got a girl in prison in the observation tower, and I know you're taking her blood and calling it medicine, passing it out at the church. Which one of you squealed? No one told him anything. He just knew. He knows everything, including my deepest desires, what happens in my next life. He's probably peering into your soul this very moment. They've completely lost it, I see. Well, how you got your information doesn't matter. All I need to know is this. What are you hoping to gain from it? Wealth? My downfall? What? Morgana's freedom. I want you to give me your key. Then I want you to tell me your story. I've come here from the future, from the world after Morgana's death. Her soul cur courses with hatred for the three of you. She's placed a curse of internal suffering on your souls. Has everyone at this dang table gone mad? Did you seriously think I'd fall believe that nonsense? Don't interrupt me. Whoa! Whoa, he's... <laughs> My objective is not so much to rescue Morgana's physical body from the tower, but to save her soul from an etern eternity of loathing. Michelle stepped up! I can't achieve that on my own, however. Because I'm not from this time, I've no, I've had no d direct interaction with her or anyone else until just recently. In order to make her have a change of heart, I need to gather the truth from the people who are from this time. And I suspect you hold the last piece of the puzzle. The biggest piece. That you have far deeper connection with Morgana than anyone else here. Now I'm all but certain of it now. Your perspective is crucial to accomplishing my goal. Tell me your whole story, please. How you ended up capturing and imprisoning Morgana. What you thought and felt along the way. Your truth will get through to her. I know it. That will be the turning point in all of this. Her curse will be no more. You will all be returned to the paths you were meant to walk. Everyone will have their salvation. Someone throw this man man out. I won't do it. Neither will I. Also, oh, this song is awesome! Dang worthless curse. At first I was like, what? We're back in the mansion? But that was just like, right. Dining hall. I'll call the guards then. Who do you think I am exactly? I'm the lord of this land. Under ordinary circumstances, never so much as deign to speak with you, boldly peasant. Now get out of my sight. 
Oh, I'll take it as an act of aggression and you'll find yourself without a head. In this room right now, you're not a lord. You're a lone man. Until you hand over your key, we're not letting you leave. Oh, Mel, step up! Put his hands up like he's gonna box him. No, it's all you if you want to come on now. <laughs> and you'll find there aren't any guards for you to call. You're all alone on this estate. Your preoccupation with staying out of sight played right into our hands. Except your defeat, Lord. We've already agreed to set the witch free. Cowardly worms. Ironic, coming from you. Huh. <laughs> I didn't think you turned coat quite so eagerly. The nun and your kid sister are in on it too, I take it. We're only working for you. We never felt any sort of allegiance to you. Loyal loyalty founded on what one has to gain or lose is far more resilient than uncertain, fluctuating feelings. But it would appear this white-haired man shattered that foundation. <laughs> How long have you been colluding with them, Kerr? I arrived in this area two days ago. What? Two days? In just two days you got these worms dancing for you? This is a different singer than usual, isn't it? This is a guy, right? I'm pretty sure the singer who does most, not all, of the songs is uh, some girl. I don't know her name. <laughs> but I know some songs have multiple singers. Like, I, I think there's one in uh, the place when like, Jacopo and Maria shoot each other. That is multiple singers, I think. Or a different singer, at least. But well, that sounds like a guy singing. Anyway, just two days you got these worms dancing for you? They are not dancing for me. I merely spoke with them, and they listened. You're a disturbed man. You couldn't possibly have won these two over in a mere two days. He's not he's no ordinary man. As we've said, he knew everything. While I was talking to him, I felt like he was looking directly into my soul. He's definitely an, un an unusual one, yeah. I felt like he's known me my whole life, even though he just showed up out of nowhere two days ago. I didn't believe what he, was, what he was saying at first, but I knew things he couldn't possibly know. My secret wish. Something I've never told anyone before. I don't know what kind of tricks you're playing, but now I know why I've never seen you around. If you've been lurking around the city for longer, sticking your nose where it didn't belong, I would have taken notice sooner or later. Ha! <laughs> I'm impressed. That's a new one. In only two days, he managed to convince them both to betray me and set me up. I am indeed the one in charge of this operation. So if it's the witcher you're after, I'm the obvious target, yes. The two dogs there surely will have some pent-up rage. So take it you're going to tie me up, then torture me until I tell you what you want to know. That's not a bad idea. What do you say? Give me the word and he's in ropes. Oh, wait, wait. We agreed we're, we weren't getting rough. I have no interest in solving this, with vi this problem with violence. We're here to uncover the truth. We need to exchange blows, only words. Anyway, if we're going to beat a lot of him, we would have done so as soon as we walked through the door. As he walked through the door. We discussed this beforehand. We're only talking. No one's getting into any fights. Physically or verbally. That's right. Well, so I've got no way out, so you got me. I surrender. Take my key. Go open the tower doors. What? That was easier than expected. Your key is not important right now. Like, so, let's say they take the key, go out to the tower, Jacobo runs to the guards, and then, you know, they kind of, you know. Your perspective is what I seek. Why did you make it so that the lock required three keys? One person is more than adequate for the job. So why split it three ways? That's, yeah. I think I've questioned that before, but eventually I just was like, oh yeah, three keys, normal. <laughs> is that any of your concern, Kerr? Was it because there was too much weight to bear alone? You didn't actually want to imprison Morgana, did you? Something somewhere went wrong. You backed yourself into a corner and couldn't escape. I'm done listening to you. Am I right or am I wrong, Lord? Or should I say, Jacopo? Jacopo? What isn't his name? Um, Jean Francois Barnier? It's Lord Barnier to you, you insolent child. Seem to be a bit confused. The son of the House of Barnier, which means I'm a royalty. No, you are not. I don't know how you came to start calling yourself. How do you say that? Bar Is it Barnier? But there's not a drop of royal blood flowing through your veins. The slave revolt of the Lord's Manor seven years ago. You were there, weren't you? 
During the revolt, you helped Morgana escape. That's right, you saved her life once. That was you. You're the slave from seven years ago. Slave? Are you out of your god dang mind? Me, a slave? Like heck a former slave could become royal royalty. You did it though. You're one from slave to lord. Enough. I don't know who's filling the white ha haired head of yours with this drivel, but I'm done listening to it. Say another word and I'll throttle you myself. Keep slandering my name, I dare you. Maria told me the slave from back then was dead. She didn't mean it literally though. She meant he wasn't who he used to be anymore. Maria? You've been talking to her too? Because she was afraid if Morgana found out, it only served to throw her deeper into despair. The man who had once saved her was now responsible for keeping her imprisoned. Do your ears not work, Kerr? I've said I've had enough. I need your perspective. There's more to the story. I'm certain of it. I refuse to believe you acted only for your own benefit, only to cause her pain. You want the key so dang badly, then take it. Set the witch free. I don't give a dang. <laughs> <laughs> but if you say another word, I'll rip your freaking tongue out. You think I'd get not... You think I'd stop laughing at me saying I don't give a dang after some time, but no. It just gets funnier. Again, the key is not what I need right now. I need your story. Are you deaf or just an imbecile? Your perspective is crucial in saving, to saving Morgana's soul. Enough. When you're a slave, you help Morgana escape from the Lord. Silence. And you spend the next three years with her. Just one more freaking word, I swear to God! Just how did you end up here? How did the boy from seven years ago go from saving her to locking her up and stealing her blood? There's no excusing your actions, no. But please, I need you to tell me how you got to this point. Enough! Michelle! The next thing I see is a dagger in his hand, pointing at me. I reflexively try to push myself out of the path of his charge with my dominant hand, which sends a jolt, jolt of excruciating pain up my right arm. <sighs> I'll rip your head off! The Lord swings his arm up. The necklace spills from my pocket, making a metallic clink as it hits the floor. When he sees it, his eyes go wide for a brief moment. Of course, I'm just as slack jawed as, as him. What? What the heck is going on? Why? How? Why am I looking at a familiar cloud of inky black darkness? There's no one to answer my question, though. No time to think about it, either. I have to make a decision right now. Save? Because this is going to be a time choice. I know it. The Lord Dagger Race is quickly approaching. Off to the side, the cloud of darkness is expanding. I... The cloud of darkness is like Morgana flashback, right? Is that what that is? Don't make a decision. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Uh uh. Not, I mean, it said quickly as possible, so I figured it would be one of those. And I reach into the darkness. When has that ever failed? I reach my hand into the darkness, spreading from the necklace. As soon as I do. What? What the heck is this? What? What's that black stuff? Oh, they can see it too. The blackness swells, consuming us all. No, stop. What? What is this? Don't... Don't make me... Watch this! The shots fade into the distance. My mind and body are swallowed up entirely. It's the same thing that happens whenever Giselle and I open a door. The same darkness I've gazed into again and again and again and again in that Karis mansion. The house that exists outside of reality. Far, far off into the distance, you can see a gentle light, like a hole ripped out of the darkness. Green grass and colorful, colorful flowers rustling in the wind. I don't understand. The darkness was never present in the past. I was, it was, I thought, a phenomenon restricted to the realm of the dead. So what is it doing here? Am I stupid? I don't remember darkness. Like... Am I just stupid? <laughs> Do I not remember? <laughs> it, but even my questions are in short order, swallowed up by the void. Soon my body my body ceases to retain its form, leaving only my consciousness to view the sights, sounds, and emotions of someone's past. I become an, an observer, as I have many times before. The slave. Are we going to see Jacobo's perspective then? Forcibly? 
I kind of thought what would happen is, uh, staring in, we'll save that for next time, but it's kind of thinking what would happen is we'd see Michelle's, pers- I mean, not Michelle, Morgana's perspective, and Jacopo would give it and be like, oh, okay, I admit it, and then tell us his story, but looks like we're going straight to him. Wonder what happens if we, hold on, I want to, before we call it, oh, did we save over that? No, 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 okay, okay. Shove the Lord aside. Shove the Lord aside. We get stabbed. Next thing I see is the Lord's body crumbling to the floor. Oh. His head rolling off in a separate direction. I'm agape, dumbfounded, and my eyes swimming. Blood spreads in a pool around his body. Why? Why did you kill him? Oh. He's going to kill you. I had no choice. Ah. You weren't supposed to kill him. If I hadn't, you would be dead. I needed his story. Not as much as we need you alive. What does this mean for my next life? Shouldn't have shoved him. Getting the truth out of him was more important than my own safety. And now we can't get anything from him. That was a mistake. Got him killed. Hey, Michelle. What are we supposed to do now? There's no changing what's already been done. I need to think forward. How are we going to proceed? Well, we'll go to the tower. We'll try to assuage as much of as Morgana's hatred as possible with the two of your perspectives. Come on. Okay. As you say. It keeps going? Okay. Using the key we took from the Lord's corpse, the three of us unlock the observation tower, climb the spiral staircase, and open the door at the top. The air in the room is bone chilling. A single shaft of moonlight shines through the high tower window, illuminating the young girl imprisoned within. Oh. She dead? My guess for what I see. She's been treated far worse than I imagined. Her skin is so deathly pale it sends a chill through me. Just looking at her, I'm not even certain she's still alive. Morgana. Say something, Morgana. Ah. Morgana. Combination of relief at the fact that she's still breathing, and anger at the condition she's in bubbles up within me. How's any of this necessary? Did you really have to chain her up? Tell me. How's this necessary? She, uh... We didn't have her chained up at first. Not that that justifies anything, I know. But she... She started acting up lately, trying to bite us, getting violent. She even tried to climb up to the window. It's nothing to grab onto or anywhere to put your feet. It's not like she could even make it that high. But that didn't stop her. She's fallen and hurt herself several times. The chains were the Lord's idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll be right there, Morgana. Organa, I brought a couple people who wish to make penis. I'll have these chains off you soon, don't worry. You'll be able to return to your old life soon. Organa, I'm here to set you free. Stay with me, Morgana. You're all three here. What? The three men, you're all here. Organa, you with the flaxen hair. You're a liar, a charlatan. You, you're a murderer. She cut off my arm. And you, Lord. It all... It all leads back to you. You tortured me, degraded me, for your own amusement. All three of you are here. Morgana. Why did you hold all... Hold all of those... Those blood sabots? That wasn't me. I'm not the Lord. Why did you go after me again? The Lord isn't here, Morgana. All three of you are right there. Morgana! E eternal suffering. No more, Gana. Look at me. I'm here to set you free. Eternal suffering. Can you not see that I'm not him? Then listen to my voice. Do I sound like the Lord? Eternal. I'm not the Lord. Eternal suffering. Morgana! Eternal suffering on all their souls. The next second, the tire is draped in blackness. The floor beneath us vanishes, and he hears shouts off in the distance. 
So I'm dragged into the endless darkness. There's nothing for me to grab onto. I simply fall, fall, fall through the void. It's a sensation similar to the one I've experienced a number of times before, sinking into the mansion's darkness. But there's something fundamentally different about this. The utter emptiness. The utter sense of solitude. I can't even breathe. My very essence is becoming one with the darkness. Still, I try to struggle against it. When a pair of small arms wrap, wrap themselves around me from behind. Loneliness seeps through those arms and wisps, wisps, wisps about, about within me, eroding away at my spirit and melting with something. Will you stay with me? Me. You won't ever leave me, will you? Will you become one with me? Will you stay by my side? I don't want to be alone anymore. The hatred seems to have left her. But what, is le well, what it left behind, what I'm feeling from her now, is a stark overwhelming desolation. As much as I know I have to get back to reunite with Giselle, my own emotions are washed away by hers. And I'm un unable to resist as the two of us, now one and the same, fade away into darkness everlasting, leaving behind only a single teardrop. It could be either of ours, or both. Okay. That was... That kind of is... Oh! Ending 6. Darkness Everlasting. Didn't think that w would be... Okay. I guess that's different enough than just, you know, Mel betrays you, Yukimasa stabs you, that... The game wants you to see that. It supports the... Michelle is Morgana theory, though, and I don't like that. <laughs> okay, we have 5. Kind of thought we didn't, but okay. So there's eight endings, looks like? Based off this. The true ending's probably on here, too, since it's not a bad ending list, just ending list. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe it's nine, and there's, like, one down here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this far. We'll be back next time when we see Jacopo's flashback, maybe? Possibly? And, yeah. I still feel like an idiot for not remembering what when the darkness appeared, though. But it's got to be something at the mansion. You know. That much. What Michelle said. We know. I'll go back and look at my old videos. Uh, not this time. But. Sometime later today. Because I'm going to record another one. In just a second. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.